hi guys welcome back to my channel so today i wanted to show you guys how to do peritoneal dialysis on an amio machine the old one um was way bigger and this one is really small and compact so it makes it easy to put it in a certain place or to travel with i do believe i don't remember but i do believe when they give you the first one it does come in a in a box that you can actually take as luggage when you go traveling so it does fit in this small nightstand let me show you so i have this small nightstand right here it is kind of wide so in this drawer i do keep my mini caps and flexi caps it's good to have a drawer because otherwise you're gonna have to get up and get everything you know so it's good to keep everything organized and close to your machine i would say this is how i keep my setup i have this to put the bags on because my bags are pretty heavy um they advise you not to put the bags on top of the amia machine and not to have them placed one on top of the other like stacked you can't do that so i got this to keep you know laundry <laughs> And then the top layers are for my dialysis. I just keep my blood pressure machine right here and it's connected. This one does connect and it also has batteries. So that's cool. So let's begin. I'm gonna pull this out. I'm gonna press the on button. And it lights up nicely. It does take a while to, to actually turn on. So you could just turn it on and walk away, do something real quick, and then come back to it. It's going to make a really loud noise once it's already loaded and you're ready to test the machine. Ta-da! So it's telling you it's ready. And um, so now they're going to have us test the machine. So the cool thing also about this machine, before I test it, um, it does have a voice activated um, button right here. So if I press it, touch test to ensure the device audio and stop button are working. Now we're gonna test it. So it is pretty loud. So if you have a lot of people in the house, I would start this earlier um you can press this the stop button as soon as it turns red you know you can press it because if you try to press it during the first beep it's not really gonna work and you're gonna have to press it again anyways so i just look at the light and make sure it does the audio so we're gonna press yes next if this is your first time opening this amnio machine, it's going to ask you to confirm the prescription of your nurse. Um, and in that, in that case, you would just press it um, that you confirm. And the nurse should have given you an activation code also that you will need to keep safe. Any, because if this machine breaks, they can send me another machine and the way that machine will have my prescription is with that activation code so it's good to keep that activation code in the notes in your phone somewhere safe or even you know if it's on your night table somewhere like tape it if you want you know um that way you always have it accessible in case this machine does break and they have to send you a new one so it says my name confirm your information then touch go that is my name so let's go i'm gonna take my weight i keep my scale right next to us right here i like to keep all of my dialysis stuff that i'm using at night right here so it's just easier and in place and plus i live in a kind of small home so it's better that way <laughs> i'm stand This is 160.2. The scale and the blood pressure machine should have been given to you by your nurse. Um, and if something happens to them, you can still ask, tell them, you know, I need one of these. 
and they're gonna give you what they have so the weight I was 160 and now I'm gonna take the blood pressure so I'm gonna aim this at me because it's gonna go on this arm so this is my machine I'm gonna make sure that this wire is in the middle right here and um, just tighten it this could be a little hard at first it doesn't have to be too tight but don't let it be too loose okay and then stay still and quiet okay so I got 114 over 79 with a pulse of 82 so now I'm gonna put that in 114 79 next and then my heart rate was 82 oh wow 82. so this screen is asking for my drain option i do have it on open drain because i do connect it to the toilet and you only do drain bag when you're doing adequacy which you do in my clinic, you do it um, every three months. So I'm not doing that today, so open drain. And then it tells you which supplies you need. So it's asking for the cassette, um, new dis disconnect caps, which we have, but we won't be using that until the morning, and a new mask. Okay, so I have my mask on, I have my my disconnect cap, although I won't need it till morning time. And the cassettes. So we're gonna put this baby in. But let's press next first. And this one is telling you which lines are gonna have bags. So I do need a 2.5, another 2.5, and an extra meal. Um, that one is purple, my nurse already told me. This was telling us about the bags. So let's stop right here and put this baby in. So let's open. So it's good to have a trash can nearby, you guys. <laughs> We're gonna clamp all of these. One, two, three, four. You see that little flap right there? That's where you're going to place these wires, just to sit there. It's really just to hold it. So let's put that there. You don't even have to look at it. Look, it, it just goes. <laughs> We're gonna open this. I'm gonna let these wires go on the floor. That's fine, they're gonna go on the floor anyways. So you can let them hang. And we're gonna flip this to actually be correct on this platform. I'm gonna fit that in there and then just push the the wires into the holes. Now this side actually has an extra hole um, wire right here, but that's for a different type of cassette. So I've been told. So you wanna put it on the first four and forget the last one. On this one, it has exactly three and it's always gonna be three, so you do not need to worry about that. So we're going to open this and undo this thing. And when you place it, you want to make sure that this part is not folded or you're not going to be able to get the water in there and it's just going to beep. And you're going to have to fix it anyways. So you want to place that in there. And that's how it looks. So now we're going to close it. And now we can close this. So we're gonna grab the last two um, wires right here, the ones we didn't clamp. I'm gonna grab both of them and kind of untangle them because they're kind of get tangled in the process. You can drop this one on the floor. It doesn't matter because this is where, this is your drain line. This is the line that's gonna connect to you. So this goes in the patient line on this side and you have to make sure you push it down right here and then push it in right there because there's a little sensor in there that tells the machine if it's actually in there 
and it's very sensitive so if this is like like that it's in there but it's not censoring it so you do have to push it or the machine's not gonna work so i do have this to cut the box most people should have um a place designated to opening the box but i don't have a lot of space so this is how we're gonna do it <laughs> These bags are a little heavy, so you're going to grab it from the top like this, and there's going to be cut off parts right here, and that's where you're going to pull it. So with these, you're going to want to check the expiration dates, and that is the correct dextrose. Sorry you guys, it's hard for me to breathe sometimes. So you're going to squeeze this to make sure there's nothing spewing out, okay? And that way you know that you're able to use it. So these actually don't have holes right here, so I do have to lay them down. But if you're using the 5000 and you have the the medical hanger thing, I used to have that, but my bags my bags can't hang no more. I also wanted to show you guys if you guys can't you know hang it like that to open it, because I know it's hard. I have a hard time doing it. So this, the clamp that I was talking about in the last video, you can actually open it. You hold it for a moment and you use the bottoms right here and it actually cuts it. See? And it's not sharp at all, so it's not like a weapon or anything. <laughs> but with this, you just grab it like that and then check it. So I actually do three bags. Because um, they just raised my dialysis. I just hang it on this little thing. Um, because it hangs perfectly. <laughs> but um, that's what I'm saying. This one has the holes and these ones don't. So these lay down. But you can't stack them or you can't put them on the machine. So the purple bags, the, they're different from the rest of the bags. Because they actually use starch instead of sugar. Um, these are usually meant for people with diabetes, so um, I'm not sure why they gave me this. I haven't really investigated, <laughs> but um, they told me they wanted me to do more dialysis than I was doing, so here we are. <laughs> so on this page, um, the prepare for treatment, when they're asking you to check the bag, they're telling you to make sure it's clear, that it's not expired, that um, they don't leak. We checked all that. Um, and that you do not stack the, the bags, which we're not. So we're good there. Let's press next. Oh. <laughs> so we did the cassette a little early. I'm sorry, you guys. It's just telling you to put the cassette in and put the heater um, package in the heater part, which is back here. These are still instructions on how to put your cassette on the machine. So you're not going to be completely um, helpless the first time, but um, because she's going to show you. So now it's telling you to test it after you connect it. <laughs> So while that is um, testing, we're going to put this, sorry I'm all wiggly you guys, we're going to put this um, in the toilet so that when you're draining the water will go in there. Um, you can connect this to your sink or I think you can actually ask for drain bags but I don't like using the drain bags because that's just more plastic you're using when you don't need to use it. <laughs> but if you're not close to the bathroom, obviously you need the drain bag. Let's do this. Go into the bathroom. Go into the bathroom. Okay, so now that we're in the bathroom, we're gonna take this cap off. Throw that away. 
bam now it's empty so you're gonna either use tape to put it on top but i like to put it under the lid and the lid actually holds it so that it's just going into the toilet completely so as you can see i put it under and you can see it right there i put it against the wall a little bit so that um it doesn't make a lot of noises because the water falling is pretty noisy and my bathroom is pretty close to my room so i want to be able to sleep <laughs> so after washing your hands and putting hand sanitizer again because we just touched the toilet um you guys missed the beep it does like a cute little noise when the cassette is done testing so that will alarm you when it's done we're gonna press next and it's telling us to put our mask back on um and to grab our bags which we already did and then it's telling you again which bags you need to connect to what so it says red line, I need to put the 2.5 and the white line also the 2.5 and then it says the blue line is the extra meal which is this one and then the white line has nothing because I'm not putting anything on there. So that's a good way to know also which ones to connect where and then it says to break the frangibles which is right here. mask hands are clean now remember when you're setting these up they have to be somewhat close to these because i'm grabbing the line the red line and this is as high as it goes so it's just enough for this one but i'm gonna put it down here <laughs> so you're gonna want to grab this with one hand and this with the other one this one i find is a little tougher to pull so i do pull this one first and then I have this right here pointing away from my hand as I grab the, the, the rubber and I pull. And then you're just going to put these in there together. And once they're connected, you can open this, unclamp it like that, and then break the tangible like it was saying on the instructions, which is right here. So let's break that. It makes a nice noise. So now we're going to grab the white line and we're going to do exactly the same thing. I'm going to pull this first, pull this one, and then connect. And then unclamp and then break. And then my last one is the blue line and this one's going to be connected to the purple bag. And it's exactly the same thing even if it's a different bag. So, unclamp, break, and you're completely done now. Now we're just going to press prime and it's going to prime the entire solution. It says 20 minutes. So at this point, grab a snack. <laughs> watch your show get ready for bed you have time to leave this alone now so i'm gonna flip the, the heating bed just so you guys can have an idea of what it will sound like So now I'm gonna turn it off, audio off. The heater is slow flow. So there was a kink, which I did myself just to show you guys. And you see this number right here, 30203. That's the number you're gonna give Baxter if something goes on with the machine and you can't fix it. So right here, it's gonna let me resume after I fix it or end, but I want to resume. So resume. Now that your cassette and heater bag and patient line has been primed, we can press next and it's telling us to connect ourselves. Make sure your hands have been washed and that you put hand sanitizer. So here's my catheter and I'm going to grab the patient line and I always disconnect myself first, uncap myself first. 
and then I do the prime line and ta-da it's connected so make sure this is unclamped and you can undo this part so make sure that everything is free and you're able to walk around um, you're gonna close this and then you're gonna press start so this is what the machine looks like when it's draining it's gonna turn off so that you can still sleep so I'll see you guys in the morning good morning so I'm awake my machine is still but it's done one way to tell that it's done is by looking at the lights you can't really tell because it's so bright in here so when you wake up and you turn and you look and this is off that means your machine is completely done okay okay <laughs> as you can see our bags are empty except for my purple one I don't know if everyone's gonna have leftover water, but I always have leftover water. This could be because I don't put the full amount of water that the clinic wants me to do. Because when I do have the full water, I tend to not eat because my stomach feels full, I'm not hungry. So they lower it for me so I actually eat food. <laughs> so I'm gonna turn this on. And right here, it's gonna give a summary of my um, treatment. And um, I usually just look at the total UF and mine is usually around that amount, which is basically 1300. So I'm gonna press next and it's gonna ask for my weight. And it was 158. So next. And then I'm going to take my blood pressure. Remember, make sure that this part is in the middle. 121 over 93. Next. 78. So I didn't add any medications to this. I want to ask for vitamin D, but I just have it. So let's press next. I hate wearing my glasses with a mask because it makes it all foggy. <laughs> it says to close the transfer set. Ta -da! And then it says to clamp the patient line. I honestly don't know what they mean by that because once you close the transfer set, it's closed. You know? <laughs> so I keep my mini caps in my first drawer i have my mini caps in here and my flexi caps that way they're easily accessible now i'm gonna put hand sanitizer um so let's grab one of these babies let's open it i do like to put it like this in between both my legs and this is also And this is also in between my legs, so it doesn't just, you know, fall out after I disconnect. So I'm gonna disconnect. I'm hoping you guys are getting a good view of this, okay? So it's open, Ta -da! and now it's closed. <laughs> and I'm completely disconnected now. So this goes in the trash. I'm gonna put this back on the machine. It's right here. So now that we're disconnected and we already recapped the transfer set, I'm going to press next and it's going to start emptying the bags. So we're just going to press next. And it's gonna start releasing the door because you can't open this door unless they release it. So we're gonna open this. 
We're gonna grab the cassette, close it. So at this point, we're just grabbing all of the trash. So this trash, we're gonna take out. With the trash, I usually put it in the box that I used last night. I put it in there, and then I take it out, and I empty the box into the recyclables, and then I cut the box open and put it in there with it. That way your trash isn't building up or anything, you know? Now you've taken all the trash out, you can close this, you can press next, and then you just turn it off. You just open this and put it back in and keep it nice and tidy. Um, I do keep some things here. I keep hand sanitizer, um, lotion, because after I go to sleep and I'm done with this hand sanitizer, I like to put lotion because my hands get really dry. Um, my makeup remover. <laughs> A set of pills because sometimes I do eat in bed and wipes to clean everything down um, usually you would clean this down after you're done with the dialysis that way it's ready to go when you use it next time and that is doing dialysis <laughs> So I hope you guys enjoyed my video. I know there's already a lot of videos out there showing you how to do your dialysis. So I'm very thankful that you guys visited my channel. Don't forget to like or subscribe. And if you guys have any comments or suggestions for future videos, let me know in the comment section below. And I'll see you guys here next week on Tuesday for Tuesday Tips. Bye!